Hey, my dear friends, it's Gord, your hurting hippie, with another coffee break session. And today is about about understanding the legalities and why pe some why we've got police out there saying that it's black and white when the legalities of cannabis in Canada is very gray. And I need to speak to it. I have spoken to it before, and please just search my videos under the word legal and you'll find more. But uh, just to refresh everybody, and I've got a lot of new followers, and peace to all of you, remember to sub below if you haven't, because I want you to see these things. Um, so what am I talking about, about the legalities? I like to think that we really have three tiers of legality in this country. We have what Health Canada has has um, stated is legal. They have uh, backed all the licensed producers. They give out the licenses, so they back their own companies that they believe in that only have flour and a little bit of oil. Some of them don't even have oil, but they don't have much flour either. Uh, and that has become our medical legal state is try one of these flowers we only have a few hopefully it'll help your medical condition because of that medical dispensaries have popped up everywhere because people who are sick need specific strains and or concentrates edibles suppositories those kind of things and medically all you can get is flour or oil that is not strong. So really sick people can't look after themselves and even if they could make their own medicine, they've got three or four flowers to choose from. So medical dispensaries popped up all over Canada, mostly in you know Van British Columbia and Ontario, but they are almost everywhere. And they are trying to look after those people I know for a fact many of these opened up because the owner was a medical person that also couldn't get the medicine they needed and were tired of being told to make it themselves. So that, that brings us to what I'm going to speak to. Uh, another area of legality I have to speak to is medical cannabis is legal to possess in Canada recreational cannabis not yet but coming in a promise a political promise but coming the law is supposed to change so why do i say there's three tiers well a person can legally with no hassle from the government and no hassle from anybody purchase medical cannabis from tweed tilray all the licensed producers won't be that great probably won't treat their condition very well, but it'll be fully sanctioned, let me say sanctioned by the government. Possessing it in any form is fully legal and our human right, as stated by Supreme Court of Canada decision R.V. Smith. So keep that in mind. Possessing medical cannabis in any form is our right. So we can't buy it in any form through the legal channels that have been provided by our government, but we're allowed to possess it in any form. So, then the gray area of medical dispensaries popped up all over the place. And lately, because the need is so strong, Vancouver and some other municipalities have worked with the medical dispensaries, medical dispensaries, have worked with them with local regulations, keeping them, making them shut down any that were near schools, making them move, making them uh, adhere to certain government policies on hiring, on uh, people not being hired during work, no, no, no toking while at work or in the workplace, uh, that kind of thing, as well as ensuring that they only supply to medically required patients. So 
the cops like to say that isn't legal. That is legal locally and cannot be shut down by the RCs unless they break the local rules. So that's the second tier. The third tier is the illegal dispensary. And I'll call them illegal because they are not yet sanctioned by any political, by, by any law. They're not sanctioned by any right or law yet. The Supreme Court of Canada didn't say it was our right to possess recreationally. But the government came out and said, we're going to make recreational marijuana legal. So what has happened? A whole bunch of dispensaries have either, along with their medical, decided to go recreational because the need's out there. The need's out there because our government messed up. When they're going to switch a law from illegal to legal and there's a space in between those periods, they need an interim law to handle what to do with people who are breaking the old law that by the time you prosecute them under the old law, the new law would exist. A very, very gray area. Therefore, those dispensaries, recreational dispensaries, have started to open up because it, it, are they legal? No. Are they illegal? Well, by the time anyone is charged and goes to court, they won't be illegal anymore, but we don't know what the face of the new law is, and there isn't an interim law. So pushing the old law is ridiculous. I, I get what Jody and Mark Emery were doing with cannabis culture in trying to push, push the limits of the law to gain momentum for a future that we require and that the government didn't look like they're going toward. Now, brought out in the forefront is the fact that these things require further conversation by the governments, by the local municipalities and people. People of the Ontario area need to start speaking to their MPs and their local city constituents because tax money is being wasted making criminals of the people that oh yes maybe they're skirting the law in preparation for a new law that's coming to try and be the first one in the door and and that kind of thing but whose fault is that they're just doing what good entrepreneurs do is looking finding a niche and supplying to that niche the government, shame on them for not giving them regulations with which to stand by. Maybe they could have opened medically for an interim period and become legal later. Who knows? Who knows? More discussion is required, but I don't see Trudeau coming forward and saying, hey, we need this interim law. No, he keeps just saying, it's illegal. You guys got to wait. We are only going to to keep enforcing the old law. That's sad. That's why I encourage y'all, contact your MP, contact your local city councillors and stuff like that and just say, we're tired of paying taxes to go towards making criminals out of people that otherwise in a year or so may be serving us. Peace and cheers, my friends. Love and harmony.